Welcome everybody to the Woodsmith set. We are here. We just finished up what episode four for the Woodsmith season thirteen, uh, episode four. Yes, we just finished filming that uh, yesterday afternoon, I guess, and we shot some other stuff this morning. But we had a little time with our film crew here, so we figured we would show you a project that we uh, did in what it was probably a couple years ago. Yeah. Woodsmith magazine. I don't know. Probably a year ago. Um, but it's this table saw storage cart, which is pretty awesome. So we figured we would show you guys. Um, one of the first things I think people ask when they buy a table saw is, what should I build or what should I do to it to really get the most out of it? And there's one thing in the shop that drives me nuts. I don't know if it drives you nuts. Oh, I know yeah. walnut dust drives you nuts. That's number one. But like empty, empty space oh, yeah. where you can store stuff is a big, big issue. So. Why don't you uh, kind of tell us about the design process? Because I know, I know that this is probably Chris. I think Dennis, actually. Dennis. Oh, Dennis did. Designed this cart. But yeah, so, I mean, it's really a good idea to have a cart paired with your table saw. Um, I really don't like clutter on my table saw when I'm working because usually the vibration, you know, rattles off my work pieces or tools or anything that I keep on the table saw. So I like to keep it clutter-free when I'm working. And a lot of table saw carts are just designed kind of to be a box on wheels that you can set stuff on. And this one's a little bit more than that. So as we pull this cart out here and take a look, you can see the top of this has a, a rim around the edge. And that's going to keep things from getting knocked off or pushed off. You can set your work pieces or tools on here. Uh, we even added this non-skid mat to kind of to soften it a little bit. But that kind of, that is the storage part of it. And, but there's much more to this than just being a box. As we look to the side here, we've added a, uh, a hanger here so we can uh, remove the like fence. Yep. So if you need your table saw clear, you got room to put your fence, you're not looking for another flat surface to set that on. And then a little um, scabbard, scabbard for, your, for your miter gauge when you're not using that. That goes right on the cart. You can keep track of it you know, right where it is. Yeah, and I mean, with fences on table saws, there are instances where you need to remove them. You know, if you're working with uh, a big cross cut sled, um, like the ultimate cross cut sled that we have plans for, the ultimate cross cut yeah, sled, yeah, uh, it's pretty large, um, and you can push. Usually, you can push your your fence off to the side, um, but having somewhere where you can store. Uh, the fence is great. A lot of saws will come with some sort of hanger on them, but at least the saws that I've had that have had a hanger, they're kind of cheap. They're plastic. They don't really work real well. Um, I mean, they hold it, but the first time you run like a cart into it, it, it breaks. Absolutely. So having something where you can stick the, uh, the fence is a good spot or a good thing to have. Um, and the miter gauge, because yeah. miter gauge is can get expensive if you buy a nice one. Right. Right. So try not to drop them. Trying to keep them in a secure place uh, is always good. Um, and, you know, having a large area where you can put stuff is awesome. Um, I like the Woodsmith Fine Tools ruler yeah. placement. Yeah. That's good placement yeah. there. Six, eight. Little or, product. Yeah. You know, six, 12, and 18 out. inch. Um, but when we go to the front side, you know, obviously you need to be able to, the, the whole point here is to maximize the storage that's under the wing of your table saw. So going down vertically, we have a drawer, right? Uh, that makes a perfect spot to, you know, store extra throat plates because who doesn't have, what, four different throat plates right. for their table saw? You gotta uh, have like one for every combination. Exactly. You never know. Yeah, um, but you can store tools in there, wrenches for changing blades, uh, tape measures, whatever you use at your table saw. Uh, regularly. Uh, it's great storage for. And this is kind of the cool part. Let's roll this yes. back. This is where it gets specialized. Yes. This is where it gets special. That's why specialized. Yeah, specialized. Special. Uh, is that, oh, yeah. yeah. I know if that was a real word. Yeah. Uh, so as you see, when you open up this, uh, the door, we have these, what, five slots, six slots mm -hmm. uh, that has room for different accessories that can slide in there. Um, so starting on the end closest to me, we have a miter sled for the saw and moving down the line, we have a pegboard. Now you think that that might seem a little weird to have in there, mm -hmm. but 
it's a perfect spot to, to put the, the little hangers on and you can hang different accessories in there. Uh, and table saw blades, you know, I have two or three at home, a uh, cross cut blade, a combo blade, a rip blade, and then my dado blades, so I guess I have four of them. Right. Um, and that's a great spot to store them. You know, here in the shop, we hang them back on the wall behind our miter saw. Mm -hmm. But with something like this in a shop setting that I guess isn't a video set, you know, having somewhere where you can store them that they're readily accessible is really cool. Yep. And it's, it's really, you have good visual um, of all the blades that you have, they're right there. So you can see what you have. They're not all kind of stacked behind each other or on top of each other. Like so. on the wall? Right. Yeah. So the, the blades are self-sharpening as they rub together. Yeah. I I'm think sure. that's what, yeah. I think that's, I think that's just a theory. It might be. We'll test it out sometime. Yeah. Uh, then marching down the line, we have a standard cross-cut sled. Um, and obviously, you could pull these all out and reorganize them how you want. Uh, or you could, if you don't want to have this uh, table saw sled that comes with the plans, you could build a bunch of those pegboard organizers. Or, I mean, heck, you could even go full drawers if you wanted, you know? Yeah, absolutely. You, would, you wouldn't have to uh, put the slide outs in there. But it's a, it's, a, it's a good storage solution to maximize the space. Personally, I like the sleds that come in there because usually it's like you're trying to find a yeah. place to hang them on the wall or lean them yeah. up against the wall. And it's nice to kind of just have small sleds that, that you use often. Exactly. And they fit right in yeah. the cart. Perfect storage. Yeah. You know, and, it's right there. You know, and with this, this sled in particular, you know, some, a lot of our sleds that we, that we build and we have plans for, are, they're big, you know. And they were, they were great for cutting longer items. You know, I'm looking at this one off camera. Uh, that's our ultimate uh, table saw sled. And it has a fence on it, I believe 60 inches long. Right. I mean, it's, pre it's pretty big. You need a third bay in your garage, basically, <laughs> for that sled. <laughs> exactly. But a smaller sled like this, honestly, will handle almost all the tasks that most people are going to be right. using it for, right? right. Um, so... Having the storage right here at your table saw is huge. Um, you know, you're not, basically we're maximizing efficiencies. So being able to have everything right there when you need it, readily accessible, is really, really key. Um, with that said, the set of these plans uh, is available on uh, woodsmithplans.com and we will include a link in the description and we've also been putting it in the first comment, right? Uh, yeah, and pinning so it. it'll be on there. Yeah, but, yeah. So if you have any suggestions for table saw sleds or table saw carts in general or yeah. sleds for that matter, Heck yeah, we always hey, let us know in the comments. Um, if you have a cart that you built that you really like, you know, let us know and yeah, and we're always looking for additional project ideas or if people have a way to uh, improve on what we've built, we love to see that type of stuff yeah. too. Yeah. So if you guys like seeing projects like this, we have. 40 plus years of this right. type of projects yeah. that we are pulling out of the closet. We're starting to shoot some videos for. Right. Uh, so if you guys like this type of stuff, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell uh, for notifications when yep. we upload videos. And we are uploading a lot of them. Um, and we're releasing a few every week. Um, and we're going to keep them coming. So yep. let us know what you think. And we'll try to hit any comments that we can. See you guys. See ya. woodsmithplans.com. Hundreds of professional, high-quality woodworking plans right at your fingertips. Every single plan is presented as an easy-to-download digital package that includes pages of step-by-step -step instructions, full-color photos, illustrations, and exploded views, retail sources for hardware and supplies, plus a cutting diagram and materials list. Many plans offer handy video overviews and guides, Plus, we're proud to offer our plans in both standard and metric. Everything is here, from gorgeous heirloom furniture projects to handy shop projects and upgrades, clever, cost-effective storage solutions, as well as weekend projects and accessories that are great for gifts, all fully searchable and categorized for easy browsing. WoodsmithPlans.com, everything you need for building fine woodworking projects.